Hey folks, it's September 10th, 2021. You're standing right here in Ann Arbor, Michigan in Cary Town for the Artoberfest 2021 event. Right here in Cary Town, like I just told you. This is the first one. It's a mini art festival. It's not like the big one. This is the one in Cary Town, the first one ever. Great little area right here in Ann Arbor. They have a flea market, farmer's market right over there. And they have a few artist booths right here for you. We'll check them out. My name's The Raven, you're watching GlobalWorldTV.com. Across from the food co-op here in Cary Town. Okay folks, we're up here at the Artoberfest, the first one ever here in Cary Town, Ann Arbor, Michigan, USA. I'm gonna show you something really cool. There's some really, really cool art at one of these booths right here. This is my favorite booth. I bought some stuff here yesterday. Look at that one down there, Joe. Wow, fabulous stuff. Now this is not the stuff you get at Kmart or Walmart. <laughs> okay, I think we might be able to get a little interview for you right here. Hi guy, what's your name? Hi, my name's Paul James. And uh, you know, I uh, met Raven yesterday. He was here and uh, stopped by and enjoyed my work, which is always nice to uh, meet new people. Uh, I do most of my work through uh, U.S. and uh, Europe as far as my images, and I uh, you know, also teach location workshops. Uh, and my website is uh, paulcjames at gmail uh, at uh, paulcjames.com. My email is paulcjames at gmail.com. And I uh, I'm going to be going out on the 19th of this month to Oregon to teach a couple groups uh, along the coastline and then the waterfalls uh, west of uh, east of uh, Portland. Cool. And um, you know, later in the year, I'll be up at the ice caves up at Munising uh, and the uh, frozen waterfalls. We're going to do that in February, so it's uh, you know, it's going to be a good good rest of the year. Two, three, is is that shows. an art festival up there at the ice caves? Um, no, no, I've never heard of that before. Could you explain a little bit more about that? No, it's not. It's not an art festival. There, uh, each year in the winter time, uh, there are caves up in uh, the UP that uh, it gets cold enough up there that they get uh, ice formations. Oh, right. And, uh, you know, you get huge icicles hanging down. Some of them are, you know, uh, 30 feet from the ground to the floor and sometimes two, three feet in diameter. And sometimes it's just along the side of a cave. It's just an ice sheet going wow. from one side to the other. Real and nice. So you can walk in between. There are spaces to walk in and take a photograph. And speaking uh, of the ice caves, I think there's one right here. Well, sometimes when I'm digging for something, it's, it's impossible to find it. Oh, you ought to see my house. <laughs> Every yeah. time I turn around, I lose something. Here you go. This is one oh, of the wow. Look at that. even ice caves. So, beautiful ice formations. Some people will go to Iceland or out to Colorado uh -huh. uh, to photograph ice caves, but we have them right here in Michigan. Right. Which is amazing. And, and the waterfalls up there, uh, it will form cylinders of ice with the water flowing still inside the cylinder uh, in uh, Munising, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, city waterfalls. There are, I think, 12 in the area right, right downtown Munising, which Sweet. is fantastic. Really cool. Well, thanks an awful lot for talking with us, Paul. I wanted to start with you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, thanks Raven. for talking with me. Thank you, Raven. All right, bye-bye. Another booth here at the Artoberfest, Carytown Art Festival, here in Carytown, Ann Arbor, Michigan, USA. Look at this, wow. Hello? Okay, what do you want? Oh, did you want something? Uh, I think that painting is pretty good if you want. Show you some of the artists here, artists work here at the Carytown Art Fair. Look at this. I'm real particular to that one. That one jumped right out at me. Fabulous, fabulous. Look at this. Nice, nice. 
Hey, I think we might be able to talk to the artist if we try right here. Hi, guy. Hi, what's your name? My name's Raven. Could you tell us a little bit about your art? Do you make these? Yes, all your Okay. And do you take photographs first or do you just paint them? Okay. Okay. So you take a photograph first and then you paint the bigger ones later. Some is the photo, some is the Okay. Okay. Do you have a website? Just put my name. I'll okay. put my name in Google. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Fabulous artwork. Look at this. My work is sometimes in the South Vietnam Korea. 15 years ago. Okay. okay. Do you have a card? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. 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 Cool. Thank you. Okay folks, we're at booth number 53 right here. Check this stuff out. Look at this. Fabulous custom made jewelry at the art fair here in Ann Arbor, Michigan, USA right here in Cary Town one of my favorite places in Ann Arbor look at this beautiful beautiful stuff rings bracelets what do you need hi what's your name Melody Melody, glad to meet you. My name's Raven. I just bust in on people. <laughs> Could you tell us a little bit about your art? Well, when I was nine years old, I discovered that there was a neighbor that was a silversmith and started going over there. At 13, I was making jewelry and going to art shows with her. And wow. So you're an actual silversmith now? Yes. Wow, that's cool. Look, when I was a little kid, I read that book about Paul Revere, you know, and I wanted to be a silversmith, but I never made it. You did. I did. <laughs> yeah. And we do the lapidary, we do the, the casting. Wow. We do it all. Very, very cool. There's the contact info right there for you folks, right there. Look at that. There's your phone number right there, Joe. Well, I was walking by and I saw your stuff and I thought it looked really, really fabulous. So I just wanted to show the people some of it. Wow. Is that turquoise right down there, that big one? This? Yeah, right in, right in there somewhere. Blue, okay. right there, you That's got your Larimar. finger. What is it called? Larimar and Sharite. Okay. So I'm a big silver and turquoise guy. I spent a lot of time in New Mexico. Oh boy. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for talking to me. I'm sorry I bust in on you like this, but it's the easiest, fastest way to do it. Thanks. Standing down here at the Cary Town Art Festival, right here. Artober Fest, they call it. The first one ever. Okay, let's take a little walk for you folks. My name's The Raven. Just showed you a couple artists. We'll show you a couple more. Okay folks, I'm gonna show you something really, really cool here. Ann Arbor's a very, very forward town, okay? More than most towns in the United States. And they have a thing here called the Emerging Artists. Hi guy, what's your name? Hi, I'm Don. Hi Don, how you doing? My name's Raven. Hey, how are you doing today? Could you tell me a little bit about what you're doing here today? Sure, so um, I'm sharing uh, this tent with two other emerging artists. We've all been selected uh, to participate and be in an exhibit at the Goodman Gallery. Great. In downtown Ann Arbor, and we're part of the All Weekend Festival that the Goodman is sponsoring. 
Okay, now this is the first uh, ever festival they've had in Carytown, am I correct? That's correct. Yeah, yeah, so this is a history-making event. <laughs> 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 kind of like that thing they had down on the diag the other day. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So, um, do you have, is that your work right behind you right there? Yeah, all of the, uh, this is all my work. I do um, hand ground ink calligraphy and abstracts. Um, wow. And I source all the paper from, uh, it's handmade in Japan. Yeah. Okay. Boy, it's nice. That is cool. Okay. Well, thanks an awful lot for talking with me. Sure. Uh, okay. My pleasure. All right. Bye bye. Checking out the art festival here. Starting to wind down a little bit here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Okay, folks, I'm going to show you some really, really cool stuff here. Hey, I think she's got a raven sitting on her shoulder there. Look at this stuff, folks. Fabulous. Fabulous artwork. Look at this. Very unique stuff you find down here. Cary Town Art Fair here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. First one ever. Artoberfest, they named it. It's a great little art festival. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Pamela Day. Hi, Pamela. I'm Raven. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Could you we tell us a little Ravens bit about your here. artwork? <laughs> yeah, I kind of noticed that. Right. Yeah, well, you got another one now. <laughs> right. Okay, cool. Um, I'm a figurative ceramic sculptor, and what you have here to see is my clay work. Wow. Um, all of it is... Um, all, they're all unique. No, none are the same. And right. They all have various surface, uh, various ways that the surfaces are finished. And the, uh, but the one common thing is that they have oxide stain on them that brings out their detail, gives them a patina, and you know highlights the texture. Some are colored pencils. Some are painted with uh, acrylic gouache, which. You saw this gal back here in the corner. Yeah. And uh, this, a couple of these are painted. Okay. And then others have um, some glaze on them. You saw the gal with the, in the water. Mm -hmm. And then um, the rest of them are, have a lot of colored pencil on them. Uh, some of the pieces have a metallic uh, wax patina on them that right. just pops the edges. Great looking stuff. Thank you. And, Fabulous. Uh, there's some very nature, uh, nature oriented pieces that I like to do that seem more like uh, Midsummer Night's Dream right. characters or just, I call them sensate creatures. Nice. That they are, you know, out of the woods and kind of caught them off guard. Really cool. And these images that you see in our look to be photographs, these are very large pieces that I do that are um, constructed pieces. Uh huh. And they involve me painting, which I also do, and uh, constructing their backgrounds, painting the backgrounds, adding the clay pieces to them. So, um, well, you have a website, am I correct? Yes, PamelaDayStudio.com. Okay, could you go ahead and spell it out for us just to make sure we get it right? Pamela Day, P A M E L A D A Y S T U D I O, PamelaDayStudio.com. Great, great, Pamela. Hey, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. I know I just bust in on people. <laughs> But your nice stuff to... really stood out when I was walking by. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate the attention. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right. We are going to have this black song. There it is, folks. Contact information for Miss Pamela Day right there. Okay, folks, you're down here in the Cary Town Artoberfest. And let me tell you, if you guys are down here and you're hungry, this is where I get my food, right here. Hi, guy, what's your name? It's Billy Meadows, man. How you doing? We're glad to meet you, Billy. All my right. name's Raven. All right. Right. What are you guys doing here today? Well, we're selling food, for one thing. We're okay. Italian ice. 
All right. Kids know the Italian ice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. Okay. I'm a kid too, so. Yeah, I'm me like too. Italian I'm a big. Kids. I'm a big kid. You seen that yesterday, These man? Guys like Italian ice. They come up here. Look, they take yeah. their picture. They take their picture. Hey, how you doing, guys? Yeah. All right. But uh, you know, also we're serving hot dogs, uh, brats, and, so Italian sausages. Right, right. Snow cones. Uh huh. A big variety of stuff. You know? Right. And if you're at one of these things, you know, you're walking around, you got to have some grub, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're tired. You yeah. Eat. That's right. That's you right. Eat. Uh huh. <laughs> if you don't eat. Uh huh. And you guys got it all. You got chips, you got drinks, yeah, we got everything. everything. See, they okay. working hard. Yeah, they are. I can't even talk. Well, they just rang me up. I'm getting me a hot dog yeah, next. They rang you up? Yeah, yeah. That's good. They got some money from me. That's good. <laughs> That's right. All That's right. right. I support my local businesses. Oh, man. Hey, well, Billy, thanks an awful lot for talking to you me, man. This guy is a great man. Watch his show. <laughs> he doesn't know me too good. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good guy. I love you, man. Thank you. All right. And napkins on the table for you, okay, when you're not Okay. Okay, folks, a lot of the booths are starting to pack up. But I think we can catch one or two more for you here. Look at this. Some really, really unique stuff right here. Look at this. Really great looking stuff. This is the stuff you cannot buy at Kmart. You have to come to an art festival like this. To get something really unique. Look at that. Great looking stuff. Well, hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Kristen. I, I make all this work. It's handmade glass and sterling silver. I make all the glass by melting glass rods at a torch. Wow. And then I hand make all of the silver settings by cutting cutting and soldering and shaping sterling right. silver um, sheet metal and wire. Wow, that is really, really cool. Thank you. Do you recycle a lot of stuff when you do that? Well, the silver um, that I use is recycled silver. And great. then I recycle all of my scrap silver. Great, great. That is so cool. Thank you. Because, you know, a lot of stuff is so wasteful nowadays, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So how long have you been doing artwork? I've been doing this line of work for almost 20 years. I learned how to do jewelry um, making, silversmithing right. at Ann Arbor Pioneer High School. So I grew up here. Oh, really? And then later, later in my life, I took glass blowing lessons and then combined the glass with my metal working. That is really, really cool. Thank you. And super original, Thanks. you know? I like that. Well, thanks an awful lot for letting us look at some of your stuff. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I think it's great. And, and I love it because it's so unique, you know? Thank you. You can see it at KristenPerkins.com. That's Kristen, K-R-I-S-T-I-N. Great. Perkins, P-E-R-K-I-N-S. And do you have an email address, too? Um, I do. It's it's on the website. Okay, so. okay. Well, thanks an awful lot, Thank Kristen. Thank you. Nice meeting you. All right. Have a nice day. You, too. Walking around in Cary Town. Oktoberfest for you here. It's late in the day. People are packing up, getting ready to head home. It's been a two day event. Well, folks, there you have it. The Oktoberfest, first one ever here at Cary Town, Ann Arbor, Michigan, USA. People are packing up. It's been a long two days for these guys. And it's getting kind of hard to get interviews right now. So we're going to head on down the road. We showed you a couple of the artists. And we did the first ever Oktoberfest. Y'all have a nice day. Hey folks, I'm going to show you one of the last booths over here at the Artoberfest. The first ever Artoberfest in Carytown, Ann Arbor, Michigan, USA. Look at this really unique stuff right here. That's a little cabinet right there. When you close the cabinet, you can't see the picture. When you open up the doors, there it is. Really, really cool stuff. I love this art right here. Stopped by here yesterday.
there's one with the doors closed right there picture inside really really cool so if you're ever up here in Ann Arbor in September you gotta check out the actually October <laughs> gotta check out Artoberfest look at this fabulous stuff These ones right there kind of grabbed me right there look at that couple rocket ships right there you need one of those in your house Bob yeah got a rocket ship right down there flying car cool Really, really unique stuff. First ever Artoberfest, Carytown, Ann Arbor. Very, very unique stuff. Okay, folks. You saw it, folks. First ever Artoberfest. Carytown, Ann Arbor, Michigan, USA.